Today, for the first time in New York history, a woman will enter that arena as governor. You'll find me to be direct, straight talking, and decisive. And Kathy Hochul is now the governor of the state of New York, and she wasted no time getting to work calling for a mask mandate for schools. We need to require vaccinations for all school personnel with an option to test out weekly. And that's not the only directive she has planned. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. We witness history today with the swearing in of Governor Kathy Hochul, the first woman to climb to the highest office in the state. She was sworn in publicly just after 10 this morning, becoming the 57th governor of the Empire State. And this afternoon, she addressed New Yorkers for the first time as their leader. She announced her top priorities, including a mask mandate and COVID testing program for schools. She also hinted at new vaccine requirements coming soon and also promised to get more direct aid to New Yorkers struggling since the pandemic. Hochul also took action to clean up the culture in Albany. We have team coverage throughout this newscast on this historic day from New York City to Albany and even New Jersey. But we begin with CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer, who is now covering her seventh administration in the state of New York. Marsha, <laughs> but who's counting? It's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kathy Hochul must have been wearing a pair of sneakers as she hit the ground running, intent on proving to New Yorkers, members of the legislature, and yes, members of the state Democratic Committee, that she has the chops to be governor, win a four-year term in her own right, and that she is the un-Cuomo. Now, please discharge my duties of the office of governor of the state of New York, of the office of governor of the state of New York. Only five hours after she was symbolically sworn in as the first woman to reach the highest rung of power in New York State in nearly 250 years, Kathy Hochul showed New York's political cognoscenti that she's not just some upstate flower chosen by Andrew Cuomo to balance his ticket. She grabbed the job by the throat, announcing wide-ranging priorities to deal with some of the state's pressing problems. First up, statewide mask mandates so schools from Brooklyn to Buffalo throughout the state can open safely next month. I'm also immediately directing the Department of Health to institute universal masking for anyone entering our schools. Hochul also wants vaccinations or testing for school staff. We need to require vaccinations for all school personnel with an option to test out weekly, at least for now. To accomplish this in New York, we need partnerships with all levels of government, and I'm working now on getting this done. She also held out the possibility that further vaccination mandates could be in the offing. And since she's taking office to replace scandal-tarred Andrew Cuomo, charged by Attorney General Tish James of sexually harassing 11 women, Hochul made sexual harassment reforms a top priority. I'm directing an overhaul of state government policies on sexual harassment and ethics, starting with requiring that all training be done live instead of allowing people to click their way through a class. Before her speech, the UNCUOMO met with legislative leaders to discuss some other must-do initiatives, including the eviction moratorium that expires at the end of the month. Tenants and landlords are both seeking help. But I am not at all satisfied with the pace that this COVID relief is getting out the door. I want the money out now. I want it out with no more excuses and delays. She's also eager to start sending out money from the Excluded Workers Fund, intended to help those who weren't eligible for unemployment benefits or stimulus checks during the pandemic. And we'll take the same focused approach to our Excluded Workers Fund. The money is there, and these people are just as impacted by COVID, and they need help now. And while some thought that Hochul gave an Emmy award-winning performance, there's a certain former chief executive who's going to have to kiss his Emmy statue goodbye. Just today, the International Academy of Television Arts and Sciences withdrew the Emmy it gave Andrew Cuomo for his 2020 COVID briefings. Guys? Wow. Well, that just puts a period at the end of that sentence, doesn't it? Punctuation <laughs> point. It does All right. Marcia, All right, Marcia, thank you. Thank you.